Hello everyone, my name is Dominono and welcome back to XCOM. So we're still waiting for the council report. Oh good. This is off to a great start. On the right side this is only a small one. And our dude should be repaired, okay. Should be able to take this down. This shouldn't be too much of a problem. Hopefully RNG is on my side. Thank you. Excellent. Alright, let's go. We should... I think I might move Aaron out and bring our other support. Mr. Burns. Just so that everybody's got enough chance to keep going. Um, snipers without squad sight aren't super useful on UFO situations, or indeed anywhere, but I need to level them up somehow. Why do I have so many snipers? Um, alright, we'll bring Mr. Robertson. Mrs. McLaughlin and Kramer can both stay because leveling them up into tough guys would be beneficial later on. Can't be too slow with bringing my dudes in. Into the farmland, apparently. For Operation Bloody Savior. That's a hell of a name. Am I the savior of the bloody or am I a bloody savior? He's a bloody savior, that one, ain't he? You have a butcher's of that. Um. Strike one is clear to attempt the breach. You literally just happened to crash like right next to the coolest looking barn ever. That looks rad. I wish I had a barn like that. You can tell you can tell I'm a country Thank fuck, can't you? Man, look at that barn! That barn is amazing. Uh. Okay. Burns to the left. We'll prioritize that meld for the time being. We'll dash Barry up front just a bit. And Mr. Robison, I'm on it, Commander. cover our right flank. Five turns on that one, huh? Seems like a while. Unless it's just been, like, quite a... Yeah, maybe it's like, that might be the earliest I've ever seen some meld, so... Eyes on bastards. Chance to hit them from there is shit. I don't like the idea of running too far out that way, though. Hmm. Alright, let's see. Burns, you can only move, like, out here. So let's roll you around the side. How is your chance to hit better? <laughs> Probably because of the shotgun. Alright, I'll put you on Overwatch. Mr. Robertson, be dramatic. And now, move Mr. McLaughlin over to the window. I'll put you on Overwatch as well. Take a chance. Wow, nailed it. Nice one. Mr. Robertson, can you follow up? Yes, you can. Beautiful. Gnarly execution. Oh, hello. Seekers. They are some cool monkeys. Position confirmed. Priority meld. It's been secured. Good. Alright. They might come by the windows or the door, so I don't particularly want to okay. dash anyone out of there and risk them getting strangled without the chance for repercussions. And it looked like there was another meld sign over here where the UFO has actually crashed, sir. I'm on it, Commander. Sir, sure. hmm, yes. What the hell is the name of that guy? Um, on the move. Kenneth Williams. That's what we're looking for. Carry on comedy. Seekers are bound to come over the sight lines here somewhere. Come on, I can see you for fuck's sake. <laughs> you fucking floating squid. Make yourselves known. Shit. Alright, so they've come in here, definitely. Alright, in that case, there's five turns on that meld. I'm rolling. And they're right here, I know they are. So, we'll put you on Overwatch here. Heading there now. We'll move Barry into the middle, so he's got closest range. 
and we'll just stick everybody as close to this area as we can and just overwatch the entire batch. Got it covered. Wherever they show up in the next round, we should hit them. Get that fuck. Damn it. Two of you missed. And you didn't get to Overwatch shot because of that, oh, fuck's sake. There's another one in there though. Will, <coughs> will the other one attack? It doesn't look like it, strangely. Heading to that location. Take this opportunity to move Mr. McLaughlin over. Remove this guy. Kill confirmed. Beautiful. Alright. The other guy's definitely around, but I don't want to let that meld get away from me. Aye, aye, Commander. It's risky, because there's a dude and there's also, like, potentially another squad around here somewhere. So long as I keep everybody covered, it should be okay. It might be even be inclined to attack him again, because he's on lower health. Didn't even show up. Oh. Great. Um, I'm gonna have to leave you exposed for a second. Okay. I can't remember your name. What are you? A dumpling, essentially. Can't see me from there, but I also can't fucking hit anything. I'm gonna drop smoke over here since I want to try and keep him close to this area without bombing it. How far can you dash that far? You, Barry, might even be able to get that guy with a flank from there. There might be another squad in there somewhere, but, you know, I've got to take the chance. Nice. Outsider, that's what they're called. That's a cool name. The Outsider. Fucking back and dishonored here. Moving to position. I don't have any fucking clue where that dude's gone, but it's either going to attack this guy or it's going to attack. Sean. Or not. Where the fuck are you? Damn it. Oh, I hate that. Like, fighting stealth enemies is unpleasant at the best of times, but. Stealth enemies who stay hidden and don't attack you is the worst. There you are. Fudge. Figures. I had a feeling I would attack the man in the rear. That is to say, the man at the back of the squad. Breaker. Aha. First time I haven't killed one in one go. Take your chance, Jack. Yeah, I didn't think so. <laughs> but, you know, worth a shot. Uh oh. Well, that's not good. Barry, can you see him from there? You can. Good. Terrible chance to hit. What's your pistol chance? Slightly better. Nice. Everything by the numbers. Beautiful. Ah, oh, things are picking up. I may have lost the entire best friends unit, but now, now that I'm playing like a person and not like an idiot, great. Another support, fine. Why not? Mr. Kramer upgraded. Aggression, or tactical sense. Do I want you to be a defensive assault or an offensive assault? Um, extra critical chance per enemy in sight. Plus five defense per enemy in sight. No, we'll go for aggressive. Because when I think of Barry Kramer, I think of aggression. <laughs> right. Uh, I can't remember which side is is the uh, <clears throat> excuse me goodness is the rocket. Standard shots with the primary weapon no longer in the turn. Or shooting out or suppressing enemies gives plus ten aim. I quite like hollow targeting personally. Since I, yeah, like it's rare you'll find yourself in the opportunity. At least I think. 
where you can just be where you are and shoot. Like, you have to move a lot in this game. Healy Medallion of Healitude is in. Good. We got another computer. We can uh, study that. Oh, and we can sell the trash, can't we? Yep, get rid of the damaged one. And this one. Good, good, good. Haven't researched those yet. We're on the in the progress of researching a sectoid corpse. I could sell a few of these, couldn't I? Hmm. I forgot about that. Commander, the artifact yeah, yeah, the I know. The council hasn't been examined by the research team. I'm sure Dr. Volland would be disappointed if we put financial gains I... ahead of our own research and development. Shut up, Central. I know, I get it, okay? But I have to do things here, all right? Because if I have this, then it means that I can build another satellite, and it's actually even cheaper than I thought it was. Wait, do I already have one hanging around? Three out of five in orbit and one available. Oh, I do! I have another one! Shit, I could have put up this as well! Oh, what a fucking pumpkin! Uh, in your Australia? No, I need the money. Plus, the bonus helps. Yeah. Now I can put an interceptor in Europe because I fucking need it. Bang. Good. Go. Why didn't my money go down? Yes, order one. Does it... Oh. It updates after you exit the screen. Fine, why not? Oh, I guess it does have to save afterwards because it's in Iron Man mode. Maybe that's it. Uh, Alright, uh, metal? That's... Yeah. Increases all that stuff, so I need to give that to my support. We'll give that to Mr. Wecht. Congratulations, Brian. Uh, right. I don't have enough to build another... But satellite uplinks need to go down that way. It costs 40 to excavate this space, but these are already open. So invest 40 in this now, and I essentially get access to two more spaces. Yeah, okay. Labs, workshops, and then once this is open, I can use the funds from my next council batch. Which should be even more now, because I've got even more satellites up. Build the mech lab down here. Or the foundry, or whatever. I'll address it super well when I get there. But for now, 23. That's not enough for, um... It's enough for a few things. Extra damage absorption than that, if I, but I don't like that super much. The scope. That's not bad on your snipers given that they don't get much chance to use grenades. But I could also get two laser pistols. Uh, but that also takes alloys, and I'm not sure how good I am for that at the moment, so it might be better to save the laser rifle anyway. I will right, we'll get one scope for my snipers on duty. Nice. Uplink targeting available for manufacture. Ah, yeah, that helps... Like a, a brief boost per, um, per thingamabob. Detect incoming UFOs better. It's not a bad idea. Floater autopsies are faster. So are chrysalids. And so are seekers. Um, the skeleton suit is slow. These are all normal. And I haven't even gotten the regular ones out yet. If I invested in one of the laser weapons, though, by the time I get my uh, council thing around, I might, keyword being might, have the funds for one. Hmm. What's the time on the, um, 14 days. All right. Uh, no, not there, for goodness sake, research. All right, I'll, we'll start with heavy lasers, or... No, because the snipers can do more damage at better range, and they're... Uh, 
I'll go with I'll go with snipers and I'll try and make a point of bringing a sniper constantly. Nice. Commander. Beautiful. Receiving several urgent requests for assistance. So we are. in progress at each marked site on the Hologlobe. China, difficult for scientists. Russia, difficult, 200 bucks. Egypt, easy for engineers. I don't mind the engineers, but I need to try and bring the panic here down. Russia, I think, is contained, like for the game, as part of Europe, I think. Fucking let me click this stuff, damn it. Thank you. Um. Yeah, the UK is part of Europe, France is part of Europe. Oh, you need three satellites over this? What the hell else is also part of Europe? UK. Russia. Oh no, I have two satellites and it moves them down. Okay, okay. Right. It's like it scrolled the um the bonus away and like sort of assimilated it into the current. I didn't realise that. Um okay. India, Australia, they're all part of Asia, China, and Japan. Ah, oh, if I let the panic rise too much in Asia, then I'll lose India and Australia. Some nut calling himself Commander Straker has been all over the news ranting about shadow operatives. That's nice. Russia is part of Europe. That's not terrible right now. Egypt is part of Africa. That's a. Oh wait, hang on. Isn't Africa also in trouble at the moment? No, no, Africa's fine. No, it was Europe and Asia that's currently in danger. Right, right, okay. Sorry, had to be had to be double check a million things there. All right, we're gonna have to go for China to try and keep the panic from spreading too much in Asia. Uh, we'll bring. Neither of you will bring Mr. Wecht. As our medic. Mr. Kramer's too good to leave behind. Right, we need we need one of our snipers. Uh, I've got like one, two, yeah, I've got three. We'll bring the named one. We'll bring Mrs. Burhow. Um and the scope increases your aim by ten. Great, excellent, good. I like it a bunch. And we should bring It might not be a good idea to bring a recruit, given like that this is a difficult, but... Actually, no, no, let's go with the list. We'll bring Megs. My fellow English person, and hope that this goes well. For strike one. Uh, Operation We're Twisted Crone. For the next operation. <laughs> Pan. Pan. Did I cut you off there, Central? My bad. Didn't mean to. Okay, go Central, team. Big Sky. Strike team is touching down now. Standing by for your orders. Roger, Big Sky. Reading you five by five. Strike one has the green light for deployment. We're in the pipe. Five by five. Anyone home? In this IKEA? Got it. If you uh, stop to open the doors manually, then it stops them from alerting anybody. Which I never really noticed if that actually does anything, but you know what? It might. And in the event that it does, in the event, in the un, in the event that it does, I want that <laughs> benefit on my side. All right. Take the building room by room until we can detect something. Uh -huh. Like that. Meld this way. Alright. Pretty much everybody can cover that distance, but I can't see much of the street outside. Um. Moving on target location. But there are no windows here, so... We can use this opportunity to move everybody Holiday. right up close to this door. And then we can roll out after we've checked the environment outside later. If that makes sense. If it doesn't, I don't know any better ways to explain it. Maybe just watching it in practice will help. 
Location confirmed. All right, then. Open the door. Meld in sight and thin men. Alrighty then. We should be in range to get to the meld in one swoop on somebody. No, it's just out of bounds. Shit. That's fucked up. Not even Mr. Kramer can do that in one go. But he has a running gun. Oh shit. This didn't go swooper as hoped. Ah, but that car's too big. They can't see me around it. Good. Fine. Get rid of this motherfucker. Perfecto. I'll move you around the side to keep an eye on these motherfuckers. Plus, I can smoke this entire, like, corner. Increase everybody's defense. Do I want to try and include the car, or do I want to try and include, like, this corner of the wall? The car, probably, is probably going to be, like, the more efficient option as this fight progresses. Birdhouse doesn't have sight. You can see this guy from here, but if I move you out to the front, that might be too dangerous. I could move you out to the front and fucking grenade that car, though. You'd be in trouble, like, on most angles here. Ah, you can get to the... F oh, yeah, but you'd be in the car then, wouldn't you? Hum. It's a dodgy situation. I'll move you out here to watch this bit. And put you into Overwatch. And since Miss Burhow can't really do anything except on a second go... Oh, hello, you can dash all the way up here? Oh, that's risky, though. Like, if there's somebody, like, up there, then you're gonna get mullered. No. Keep your sightline on this doorway, and if anybody should move through it... They're falling back. They get fucked. Nice shot! Beautiful. Oop, hello. He went in and out. He's taken off. Straight into the poison cloud. That was not very bright on your part there, was it, man? Now that we've cleared out this... This street. That's, what, that's the word I was looking for. Right, kill that motherfucker. Beautiful. Perfect. Now, if I can, ideally, I'd like to get this next kill with Brian. Get that bastard. Perfect. Flawless. Beautiful. Fantastic. Right. Now I can take a chance up here. Since there is a bit of cover, should there be anyone on the roof. There's not. Beautiful. Gives me sight lines over the entire floor. Location confirmed. And we can see what's in this building next. The other meld is over here. Good. Open the door, see if we can figure out anything early. <laughs> Just another room. Figures. Anyone home? No, but I don't like it. Closest cover I can get to from across the street. No, it might not even be useful keeping Susie up here. If I drop it down this way, then I can get coverage of the rest of the room. Anyone? No? Oh, hello. Ah. I was hoping there might be, like, doors and a way through there, but there's not. We're going to need to go this way. Enemy troops. Figures. I don't know if the meld auto-collects if you go through, like, every squad of hostels before their mission's over, but... Hmm. We may find out. Ah. Uh, that's rough. Taking the high road. Can you shoot from there? Oh, sh shit, you can. Uh oh, that's dangerous. 
That's really dangerous. I don't want to go in there in case there's more. Fudge pancakes. That's a sealed room, though. Take a chance. Good. Alright, that's something, I guess. Barry, can you run and gun? Yes, but you can't get up there. Alright, I'll move you out to the middle for now. Susie can see both of you, though. Can't you? Yes. Better chance to critical hit off this one. Same chance to hit. Both cases. Try and remove that guy from the ceiling, please, Suze. Beautiful. Fantastic. Brian needs to be in range to heal Minx in the next one, but... Um... I'll take a chance on your kill shot. Fucked it up. What's Barry's chance to hit? Very good, actually. I'll take a chance on Brian, since I also need him to get XP. Fine. Whatever. But I'm gonna have to finish it with Barry. Good. Thank goodness. Alright, we're not done yet. Fine. The other meld is right there. Not within range just yet, but... There's only room for like one space right next to the door. And it should be Barry, since he's our assault. I'm just gonna like casually hope that maybe we've got enough time to pick up that meld canister in the next go. Since we are in urgent need of a heal right here. Rub some dirt on it, you wimp. <laughs> Just rub some dirt on it, you'll be fine. Um, there's no way of getting through there, so I might as well dash Susie up. Okay, and we can dash you back in here. We're primed to pick it up in the next go. They're over there, are they? So they're on the street on the other side of this building. Eyes on anything? No. That's not dashing. Good. On the last round, too. Perfect. Alright. Reload, because I don't want to take the risk that we might get jumped in the next go. Susie needs a better line of sight, though, so I can dash her in. Worst case scenario, they come around this side instead of the front. And we end up playing a game of Ring Around the Roses. Um, on my way. If I leave Brian here, then he can get Overwatch on this bit. It actually, it might also be a good idea to bring Susie back to this one in that case. Yes, Commander. And send Minx and Mr. Kramer around this side as our flanking squad. Eyes on anything? No. Yes, no. Can't take the risk of running into them right on either side. Yeah. Quiet. Do you hear something? They're either in this building or they're on this street and they're coming one way or the other. Fine. In which case though, Heading there now. let's get Sue's much better sight lines. She can't shoot from that one, but Rock, it gives me an excuse to reload. I'd rather not tip the aliens off, if at all possible. But we're gonna have to make a move eventually. On the move. No eyes on hostiles yet. Fine. Oh, this is tense. Gotcha. And you're only punks. Yeah, it wasn't likely that you were gonna hit from there with a shotgun. But now I know. Now I can get him. Wow, that was a nice shot. Top of the line. They've bailed out of line of sight now. Fine. Barry up on the right. Exposed. Can you get him with the pistol? Yes, you can. Probably. 
Brilliant. Nice. Let's hope it all goes this well. See if we can dash Barry and uh, Susie over the roof. Might be able to catch it in time, but this is probably the last squad. Roger, Dodger. I wonder if those birds scattering can be used as like an indication of where the hostels are. <laughs> you are not having a lucky time of it, are you, buddy? Took the shot anyway. That's ballsy, but you know what? Minx really needs this uh, promotion, so let's get it. Nice. Excellent work. All objectives complete. Tremendous. Absolutely fantastic. This is more like it. This is what I like to see. Success, not horrible, horrible death. The Mustang. I wasn't sure what, like, I'm not sure what kind of nickname to give Barry, so I might leave it as Mustang. Brian's nickname will obviously be Ninja, and Susie's will probably be Kitty Cat, but... I don't, I, I don't have a nickname offhand for Barry, so Mustang's pretty good. The Mustang. First standard shot made within four tiles of the target does not cost an action. That's pretty useful. But Lightning Reflexes is pretty much a must-have, because it means you can make them... It means you can burn enemy overwatches. And Michelle is now a heavy. Cool. Susan's now corporal, and we can get you squad sight. Thank fuck. Squad sight is brilliant. Oh, you were gravely wounded, though, apparently. We did get a badge of protectiveness, though, so that's nice. Panic increased across Africa and Europe. China has decreased by two. In touch, Commander. Thank goodness. Uh oh, Russia's in serious. Serious straits right now. I have so many of my, um. So many satellites over Europe already that it would be a it would be a mistake not to not to get Russia up as soon as I can because then I can get the bonus there. Council report in nine days, but hmm. Oh, I'm actually running out of time. So that was mostly micromanagement on the base side, but ran it off with a good mission. So thank you very much for watching, and I will see you in the next episode.